morning year two and welcome to another spelling session and in today's session I'm going to be handing over the thinking over to you. Let's have a look. So we're going to be looking at words with the letters W and R and when I mean looking at words we're going to be recapping words because we have looked at these words already. So we're going to be looking at words with the letters W and R and I want you to think about how do we actually say these words because remember there's a difference between the way we write a word and the way we say a word. So look out for these letters and think very carefully. Let's look at the first word. W-R-A-P. W-R-A-P. That doesn't make sense, does it? How do we actually say the first part of each word? So I want you to read out each word to yourself quietly and think. How do we actually say the first part to each word? Are we ready? Quite simple. R. We say it as R. R. So we go back. R. A, rap, wreck, right. That's how we say each word. So well done if you remembered. What we're now going to do is we're going to go straight into writing our nonsense sentence. And remember, after I've said each, um, the sentence twice, you can pause the video. And what we need to remember is when we hear the r sound, so the r sound at the start of a word, we know we write it as w and r. So when we hear the R sound at the start of a word, we write it as W and R. And what we need to remember is these rules don't apply to all words. Because there are lots of words out there, for example, where we hear the R sound at the start of a word. But that doesn't mean that we use the let words W and R, the letters W and R. So the word rainforest, do we write W-R-A-I-N? No. These are just some words where when we hear the R sound at the beginning, we write W and R. So listen really carefully and think. I wrote the wrong name on my wrist, full stop. I wrote the wrong name on my wrist, full stop. So if we take the word wrote, for example, I want you to think, what sounds, what letters do we hear? Think about the our spelling rules, think about the letters, think about the sounds, wrote. How can we use our spelling sounds to write these words? Okay, so if you want to pause the video now, you can. Are we ready? Let's have a look. I wrote the wrong name on my wrist. Full stop. Well done if you got that sentence right. Okay, now let's go straight on to our spell challenge. And remember, these spell challenges are important because remember, we're going over learning that we've looked at before already and it's good to keep our memories fresh. So, tick to show whether each noun is a singular or a plural. Who remembers? What does singular mean and what does plural mean? Who remembers? So remember, singular, we're thinking about one thing. Whereas plural, we're thinking about more than one thing. So dress. Are we talking about one dress or more than one dress? We're talking about one because remember the spelling, the, the, the spelling and the way the word is written gives us a clue to whether it's singular or plural. So that so we know, for example, when we're looking at the word dress, it's going to be singular. We know that for house, singular or plural, singular again because again we look at the spelling, we look at the word. What does it tell us? Socks. Is that singular or plural? It's plural because when we look at the spelling, it's more than one. Sock. It's talking about more than one sock. Well done if you got that right. Finally, tick the correct word to complete the sentence below. So tick the correct word to complete the sentence below. Sasha was running to school, something she was late. Sasha was running to school, something she was late. So which one of these words will, can we use in the sentence? Sasha was running to school if she was late. Sasha was running to school, school or she was late. Sasha was running to school that she was late. Sasha was running to school because she was late. Which one makes sense? Good. Because. Sasha was running to school because she was late. Well done if you got that straight away. Okay. And here are some more words for you to look at at home. So these are two new words that, I want you, to, that you can use at home. I want you to read carefully and then turn them into sentences. And also, at this time, I'm gonna let you choose some of the, choose from some of the words that we've looked at in today's session, 
and use that in your own sense use that in your own sentences as well and remember any home learning don't forget to post it on our year two twitter page thank you for listening year two bye bye